there guys, gals, non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we are doing an unboxing from Light It Up Literary. Now, it's a fairly large box. Um, I'm not going to show you the box very well. It does have this really cute piece of red and green washi tape on it, but it's where my address is, so I don't want to show you that. So, but yeah, let's get into it. Now, I do want to say that I found this shop on Etsy. I did purchase this with my own money. All opinions are my own. Um, the shop is Light Up Literary. I will have them linked down in the description below. And it says, thank the, we have the order sheet, which says, thank you for your order. Happy reading on it, which is very sweet. Ooh, we've got some little bubble wraps. Oh, goodness, there's quite a lot in here. There's quite a bit in here, actually. Lots of little Christmas wormies. Oh, one more thing. Make sure I have everything out of here. Yes, okay. So the first thing that caught my attention is this little bar of soap. So I'll take that up here where y'all can see it. It is a peppermint swirl soap bar. It's got a little puppy on the front. It's from Brompton and Langley. Mmm, it smells very nice. It's not too pepperminty. Like it's not gonna make you smell like mentholated, but it's gonna smell very nice. That's gonna be cute, I like that. So, and then we've got a little pair of socks bunch of little snowmen on them. Super cute. This is the style of sock I like, are the little shorty socks. Um, and I don't have too many pairs of Christmas socks. So there's a candy cane chapstick, which I'm a lip, lip balm fiend. When it comes to lip balm, uh, too much is never enough. So. Oh, here's the card. So it's a Christmas book box, one blind date with a book, Christmas romance, a fabric bookmark, laminated bookmark, Christmas socks, Christmas mug, hot chocolate, and a candy cane. So there's this, which tells me everything. So we've got hot chocolate, which is chocolate supreme cocoa mix by Landa Lakes, which theirs are really good. I've had this brand of hot chocolate before. It's really, really good. Ooh, that's cute. This is the fabric bookmark. So it looks, it looks homemade and it just kind of bloop goes over the edge of the corner of the book and the candy cane. Oh, it's broken. It'll still taste good though. Um, little candy cane stick. And then this is the laminated bookmark. So it's got on one side and then on the other. Very cute. We've got a little bag of candy, a little bag of chocolates. So let's get into the mug next, because I want to leave the book for last. Oh, that is darling! I like that! It says Mary on it, and it's got kind of a... kind of a red speckle on off-white. Very cute, nice and heavy. And sort of mug that you're not going to burn your hand if you put hot tea or hot cocoa in it. So, and then dust the little wormy guys off. We've got our book and it's got little things in the pockets which I'll get to in a minute but on the back it's got spoilers. So this is a spicy romance 370 pages New York Times best-selling author first in a series can this rock star mend her broken past 4.1 stars 2013. Very interesting. Okay let's look at the stickers. So we've got a little holly and stockings we've got a little santa and a christmas tree and some presents which is very cute we've got a little present bag it's got the little patch on it that's super cute oh we've got some tea it's pumpkin spice tea from tea for all their holiday collection so it contains caffeine which is always a good thing for me and then we've got Lighted Up Literary Bookish Gifts, and that on there. Ah, oh, and the seal. I want to show you the seal. It's a little snowflake this time, and I'm, 
I've been saving the seals, so I'm going to try and get this off neatly. Try. Aha! I am successful. And then we can take the string, the twine, off the package. Do, do, do. I saved the seal. And now comes the really sad part where I open this and destroy all of this lovely wrapping. Because they always do such a great job wrapping these. Like, they're absolutely wonderful. So, ooh, this does look spicy. It's connected, connected, or just, just connected. The connected series, the connection series connected. <laughs> In Dahlia London's world, happily ever after is a far cry from reality. Her soul has been left completely shattered by tragedy, tragedy, but surprising, but a surprising reunion with someone from her past is about to give her a reason to love again. When rock star River Wild comes back into Dahlia's life, their supercharged connection runs deeper than either of them expected. The more time they spend together, the more intense their relationship becomes, and Dahlia believes that l at last she has found her soulmate. But old bonds fade. Old bonds fade and Dahlia's grief begins to lift, and her guilt and confusion remain. River desperately wants to be the one who mends what's been broken, but with a past that refuses to stay buried, is it possible for their future to begin? That sounds very interesting, very spicy. So this will not be one that I'm reviewing on the channel. Because um, I like spicy books, but I don't typically review spicy books on the channel. But this looks like one that will be fun to read. Um, yeah, this is Lighted Up Literary. All in all, I'd say this is five stars. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm excited to read the book. I'm excited for the candies, the tea, the hot cocoa. I'm just, this is great. So go check them out, give them some love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!